Hey, this is B with bcaldero.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn on and turn off Facebook notifications and why you should even think about doing that. And I'm gonna give you a stellar example of how I use that feature myself. In the meantime, while you're here, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be the first to know when I release a new video. See you on the flip side. Okay, so if you're doing business on Facebook or you're just there to enjoy your friends and family, that's okay because Facebook is there for that. One of the most annoying things that happens on Facebook is something that is kind of minor but kind of major to the poster. A lot of people will put in the comments following or put a period in the, in the comments just so that they can be a part of the conversation. They just want to know what's going on after because they probably don't want to stay on Facebook all day long to see what the answer is. Well, there's a better way of doing that. I have a video that's going to show you exactly how you can turn on the notifications on Facebook. Then all you have to do is click on the three dots at the top of the post and turn on the notifications. So you can turn on notifications to see what everybody else is saying. And as soon as you're finished, then all you have to do is click turn off notifications. If you haven't commented on the post yet, then you won't get not notifications. So you might see it in your feed, but you won't get notifications for it. But if you'd like to get notifications for it, turn on the notifications. So as you can see, even if you haven't commented on a post, but you just want to know what's going on, what are people saying about this certain topic, then all you have to do is go to the top three dots on the, on the top corner, like I showed you, turn on post notifications even if you haven't commented. Now, if you have commented and you have not turned off the notifications, you will continue to get the notifications as people comment and react to that post. But sometimes you don't have anything to add to the post, but you want to kind of keep track of what other people are saying. One of my colleagues posted that she was looking for ideas for what to serve to dinner for a very specific group of people. And I thought, wow, that's a great question. And something that you really can't Google very easily and you wanna hear from your friends anyway. Is I had nothing to contribute to that post. I mean, I could have probably thrown something out there, but really she was looking for a specific answer. So what I did is I clicked the three dots, I turned on notifications because I wanted to see, because I wanted to know what other people were going to say. And so I got ideas on what to do when a specific, this specific group of people, if I were ever to encounter them, coming to my house and how I would host a dinner. So it was a really fantastic way for me to keep track of what the other people's ideas were and what she actually ended up doing instead of, you know, putting a dot in the comments or following and it just kind of clutters the comments for nothing. So it's a really great example to, to show you that you don't have to comment on a note on a post in order to get notifications you can turn on the notifications really super easily hey you know what did you like this video did you get value out of it I mean would you like to know how to do more things on Facebook that are super cool and super sly you so did this make sense to you have you done it are you gonna do it I hope you do drop me a comment down below feel free to like this video I appreciate your likes don't be shy and of course subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you're the first to know when I release more cool tips. I will see you in the next video.